This is the biggest action film I've ever done in my life, and I have done huge action films. Having Andy Armstrong on this film, I think, has been one of the best decisions that we could have made. I'm trying to do a blend, a particular sort of Hollywood style with very long lenses and very wide lenses, but, you know, trying to blend that into a Bollywood movie. angles that he uses for covering the action are so unconventional. That's what will cut this film above from the rest of the Indian films that you see. It's such a boon for an actor to be rest assured that the work is carrying on perfectly. He doesn't need to stress himself out. And he was absolutely fantastic. Really moves better than anyone stunt doubling him. He's a, he's a better action star. I brought uh, some other specialist drivers, one to drive the pod and, and two to do tricks on motorcycles. Uh, and and they, you know, they're all world class, some of the best in the world at what they do. I was very keen on finding something small and narrow and tight and scary to drive in. It's never been done. You've never seen Delhi like this. I've loved working with Sid. I think sometimes he's completely crazy, but I think anyone that works in his business probably is. We're going to do some stuff in the alleyways that's, that's never been done in an Indian movie. You know, we're going to turn a car over in the alley and ride motorcycles on the wall and jump motorcycles. The very spectacular car crash that we did, although we set it up and with our ramp design, it was actually an Indian driver, Habib, who, who turned the car over. It's been a nice amalgamation of American and Indian something. Parvez and the entire Indian team also were mind -blowing. I think the action that we've done here would hold up in any movie, in any, in any market in the world. Action! Action! <laughs>